Hi, my name is Holly Shockley and I'm with Thrive Christian Counseling and this is Kevin Owen with Owen Clinic and we're here to talk today about what happens whenever you go see a counselor and you're really excited, you know that things in your life have needed to change for a long time and you get into the counseling process and the change is like molasses and you feel like, am I wasting my time? What am I doing here? Kevin, what is that all about? Well, you know, as most of us had substantial life crisis crop up without any warning or without any lead up, um, it's natural to assume that you're going to immediately resolve your problem. That's not it. Most of us took a lot of time getting to the place where we realized that we needed counseling and seeking out help. Why in the world, if you could have done it overnight with a snap of your fingers or with a single session, why would you have not already done that? Usually there are systems in place that are propping up those challenges and those issues. Mm -hmm. So uh, walk in with the expectation that you're gonna be there for a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think managing expectations with clients as the counselor is a really good first start. Um, you know, we didn't get here in a vacuum, things don't go quickly and change typically is it's hard and it's a lot of work and it takes time. And so there is grace and there is compassion for all of that along the way. And um, I just think it's, it's, it is in our minds in our very uh, microwavable world where everything happens really quickly and really fast that we also want our lives to completely change really fast. And I think counseling goes against the grain um, and we need to set the expectations with our clients at the onset of counseling that it is, it might be a little bit longer, but it will be worth it and valuable. There is, there is beauty in the process. Mm -hmm. Not only how did I get to a place where I was in trouble, where I was desperate, where I was depressed, uh, but the process of how we get out of it. And if you try to rush the process, you can try all you want. You know, I did a session, everything felt great. I quit. We're done. <laughs> Um, well, you can try to rush the process, but if you don't go through the steps, they used to, back when I was a kid, uh, they used to make us work out the whole math problem so that we knew how we got to where we got to, as opposed to using your phone and you take a picture and the app tells you what the answer is. Uh, life isn't like that. And so mm -hmm. the process of working, working through the issues, the challenges, the conflicts, uh, is oftentimes as important as the resolution of those challenges. Yeah, and when you're in counseling, it's traditionally once a week and about 50 minutes. And so to come in assuming that 50 minutes of dialogue and discussion and looking at things differently and how did I get to where I am and what do I need to do to move forward, thinking that that, that will change quickly um, all of your life circumstances is, yeah, it's very Pollyanna. Yeah. theory mm -hmm. it's uh it's sometimes one of the more beneficial things that counselors can do is they can give you something that you need to process for a week mm -hmm. that you chew on for a week this is something uh and oftentimes I, I do it very subtly they won't even know that i'm about to throw something in there that they're going to wrestle with for a week mm -hmm. uh well that's good it's good because so many times we don't take a bigger look at the picture and the challenges that are that are causing things to go the way they're going mm -hmm. and so once again, if it's not going fast enough, uh, I, how long does it take to boil water? How long does it take to grow a plant? You don't get to choose how fast some things go. And, and I don't know of a single like snap answer that fixes things like trauma and death and mm -hmm. failure and yeah. Yeah. And I also will say it may feel like it's going really slow um, for an extended period of time. And then there will be this sudden revelation within your life that the process is working and so stick on for the process learn uh learn reasonable expectations of what it should be uh i was talking to to somebody a few years ago who was in a like a crazy car accident situation uh with like fatalities and things and they were telling me you know three months later that they just can't figure out why they're not getting over it why is this well why why would you have gotten over it in three months and is getting over it the answer that you're looking for? Um, there's so much to the, the human experience in life and that kind of stuff that sometimes we're asking the wrong questions. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're pushing in the wrong direction, hoping that we're gonna get something, something quick and easy and simple. Uh, don't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's a difficult process. Now, if you know me at all, I am terrible at math. 
uh, maybe mathematically dyslexic, we really can't tell. And so I would need help. I would need someone to sit down and walk me through the process. That's what Holly does with me in math, but it's also what she does with people in counseling, and that's what I do as well. Feel free to give us a call.